Azing Karn, and today I have a Figma unboxing for you guys. But first off, I would like to apologize, or not really apologize, as to say, I know I've been posting quite a lot of anime related uh, videos, such as what is a wall scroll so far, a uh, little Gundam figure I purchased, as well as now Figma. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these openings and reviews for anime figures and stuff. And if you definitely enjoy it, please leave a comment down below, like, rate, and subscribe, and all that stuff, so I know that I get I have your support and that I should continue doing this. Otherwise, I'm gonna continue opening trading cards on this channel no matter what, because this was the original intention. But I felt like uh, once in a while, whenever I pick up something interesting, I would do sort of a video on it or a review or whatever. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. And today we're gonna take a look at the Figma Sonica which I purchased. Now, I did open the figure already, I, I cut the top off and just checked really quickly, but I haven't really had any time to play with it or check out everything for it, so let's go ahead and unbox it. But first off, from what I've heard about Figmas, when buying Figmas, you should very be careful or be very careful of figs as for Figma boxes to identify it, um, if you touch the box, it should be pretty sturdy, uh, not too glossy, but a decent amount of shine, you should be able to withstand pretty decent conditions as well as well as uh, there's this circle right here to, for containment of it but actually before we um, open this uh, let's go ahead and take a look on the back of the box so this is common for figmas and sometimes you will see like um what is it uh they will say for sale in japan only which i don't know if the fakes have it as well but that's also a good sign to check for and yeah usually there might be a triple a anime distributor thing here depending on the series i think uh, sometimes there isn't as well, and there should be, or sometimes there is a stick a signing foil sticker right there as well to indicate the authenticity. But in some cases, Figmas do not have those, and they can still be legit. So just check. Basically, you just want to look at the figure, see if there's a, if the faces are detailed weird, such as if it's crooked or anything, uh, how the joints look and everything, and just you have to keep an eye out. So yeah. Uh, for my recommendation, I would just recommend you guys to go check online about this stuff. That's what I did, and hopefully that can help you guys. So that's very important to know if, when purchasing Figmas. And nonetheless, this is my first Figma ever, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So for the box, as of course, Figmas are all made by Max Factory, as you can see. Figma, Max Factory, Masaki, Opsi, Action Figure Series. And this is Super Sonico, uh, product number 169. And I believe this is supposed to say like Tiger Hoodie version or Tora Bak, I don't know. Sorry. But uh, otherwise, a uh, nice clear uh, window package of the figure and her accessories. If you take a look to the side, you get a nice artwork of her, of the figure holding the guitar. Uh, more information about her name, what version this is, and the product number. And on the back, you can see uh, various poses for her. Her uh, little key stuff and showing that uh, you do get display span with this as well. And this is licensed by Nitro, I guess. Uh, it's PVC, ABS, and just standard information on the back. And as I said earlier, often some figments will say for sale in Japan only and stuff. But nonetheless, um, people still bring it over. And on the other side, we get a nice look of her in her tiger hoodie. So yeah, so let's go ahead and pop open the figure and check out what the contents have to offer us. Another key thing I heard about was uh, most often fakes, their boxes will not go all the way with this flap inside. It will be halfway, so um, I don't know how key that is of a sign, but otherwise, let's move on with the figure opening. So, just slide it out like this, and I feel like the inside is, oh yeah, the inside is removable as well, so let's just kind of slide that out and take a look. So, it just is a pink background with Supersonic right there. Seems like there's an indent on it, so I guess you could pop it out if you really wanted to. I don't really see the point in that. Uh, perhaps you could use it for, I don't know. I actually have honestly no idea. I, I guess you could kind of use it for a CD cover or something. Otherwise, uh, it's a cool backdrop to put in the box, so let's set that aside. And the figure is packaged in this clear tray, so let's go ahead and pop it up. You guys can see uh, there's like four little indents right here with uh, little tabby things that connect into there, giving a nice secure connection, as you can see. You just want to pop everything up. And as with, I've already checked this to open it and check it. 
I the these have loosened up a little bit, but otherwise they should be pretty tight. And something to notice when you get a Figma, the plastic smell is very strong. So I kind of was worried whether if it was fake or not, but uh, upon asking some various people and researching, I have deemed that this is a legit one. Hopefully uh, that is correct as yeah. So first off you get your little Figma bag right here, as you can see. So it says Figma right there and you can write down the name of the figure or anything. It's a nice little method of storage for any extra accessories that you do not have on the figure. You also get this little, what is this, I think this is like the instruction booklet. So I guess this is just like the parts guide. And a little information. Set that aside. And over here we have our stand and everything. So let's just go ahead and cut this open really quickly. So let me get my scissors. And yeah, it's this plastic which is actually pretty hard to cut through. So let's see how this will work. So I'm just going to slide through it. Hopefully this method will work. And it's actually kind of separated. So actually I'm not going to bother with this because I kind of want to keep the video short. short. So uh, with this section I've already opened. As you can see, you get a little tray thing that you can attach all the various hands to. Uh, let me focus for you guys. So it says Figma right there, if my camera can pick that up. And these are articulated. And they have the wrist joint right there. So it's a nice little method just to store your extra hands, which are would not be in use. So pretty cool. I believe all Figmas include that as well. Uh, some having more hands and some less than others, depending on the Figma you purchase. As well as here's a look at the Figma stand. I also heard that with the stands, you should also kind of be able to tell based on it as it should be slightly, cl it should be either clear or slightly cloudy, but not too dirty of a fog or anything. And it looks legit with all this little information off to the side. And then the clear stand that you use to connect to the base, which is I believe should be bolted in for this. And another fair thing I read about was uh, if you do not see air bubbles, uh, there's a possibility your figure's fake as the fake companies kind of make this really cloudy so you can't see any air bubbles. But for real Figmas, it should be easily able to spot those air bubbles inside as during casting times, uh, this is a common occurrence. So yeah, uh, and this is pretty clear. So hopefully, as I said before, I believe this is legit. So yeah. Also, uh, let's take a look at her accessories first. So she comes with this guitar, which has a kind of a nice matte finish on it, and a sheen and shine on the bottom, and all these nice little paint details and applications on it, as well as this little pin on the back. And this is kind of like a little elastic strap, I guess. So you can just get this over the figure pretty easily. Uh, next accessory. Let's take a look at this. And oh yeah, for packaging, they should also really usually have like little plastic wrapping everywhere to keep the paint safe and stuff while in the package. So this would be her tiger hoodie, which uh, is removable as you can see, and you can just attach it onto her. The next for faces that you get, you get two additional faces uh, along with the one she already has. So if I can get a nice view of those in here. You have one of her kind of pouting and I think slight teardrops right there and one of her winking and looking to her right. So pretty cool. And set these aside for later. And here is the actual figure itself. So figure is wrapped of course in this plastic so it's just all off her. And it's wrapped pretty well so yeah. And let me see if I can just remove this. How do you... How are you supposed to remove this? Just, just rip it off. So yeah, there we go. And here is the figure. Looks very good. And I heard from uh, some reviewers and stuff that often with the fakes, this stuff would be really hard plastic, so limits posability. But this is actually flexible, so you can actually get some various poses going on with her. 
and hopefully that does not warp anything but yeah here's a close-up of her face okay, or if I can focus hitting this thing a couple of times so there we go and uh, with these little side pieces I don't know if there's any way to really make them really flush I guess you just kind of have to push it back otherwise very nice figure uh, take a look at her sculpt and yeah so this has been my unboxing of the Supersonico Figma number serial 169 and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, definitely like the video if you want to see a review of her as this is just an unboxing pretty rather long unboxing but nonetheless it, it's very good Figma in my opinion I uh, love the look of this so yeah hope you guys enjoyed and please rate comment subscribe and all that stuff and the 18 card out